Hey guys, it is Wednesday here in West Virginia, and today we're doing something a little different. We're doing an action figure, but it's not our typical Predator figure from Nika. This is an, an Avengers uh, figure from Hasbro, uh, the Marvel Legends series, and it is of Iron Man. And actually, um, I didn't get this... Like, by purchasing it, I got it in a trade uh, for a couple of my cars from a local person. Uh, and anyways, it's a figure that I kind of find intriguing. I'm not sure if I'm going to keep it or not, but I'm definitely going to unbox it and look at it with you guys. Uh, because it's only going to harm the tape. This is your Marvel Studios, um, and it's of the Avengers... Well, I guess it's, it is part of the Avengers, um, I don't know what you want to call a series or whatever, but this is the Captain America movie, the Captain America Civil War, but it plays in with all the Avengers movies, the Guardians of the Galaxy, the Spider-Mans, and all of that stuff with the Marvel, like, multiverse thing, so they all go in accordance with one another, but this figure is very cool, I guess this is like one of the Iron Man outfits he had, it says this is Iron Man Mark 46, and this new series, I don't know if this is new or not, honestly, um, it is from the, uh, the Infinity Saga, and anyways, uh, I seen these at Walmart uh, today because I was kind of seeing what these go for when I did this trade on some of my premium stuff I had here for sale. Nothing really that special. So that's why I took action figures in on trade. I figured, what the heck, maybe I could sell these easier than the premium die cast. So on the back, it shows what the movie poster was with Captain America and Iron Man facing off and they were pissed off at each other and such. And it gives you uh, some background story here. So it just is basically the chief source of funding and equipment for the Avengers Tony Stark still finds time to suit up and join Earth's mightiest heroes as Iron Man. So that's the first paragraph. Source, source principle. Oh, uh, yeah, this is, I'm sorry, all in different languages. I just now got that. So, yeah, that's the only thing here that is in English. So they're all the same, just in different languages. So anyways, it tells you down here, like the choking hazards and such things like that in multiple languages. Once again, your copyright stuff and the companies in collaboration, Marvel and Hasbro. Uh, and once again, this is from the Marvel Legends. I remember the BAFs, the build a, a figure <clears throat> things that they used to have. I don't know if they still do that or not, because I remember... I had a friend, it was back in probably 2013, maybe a little earlier than that, with the Guardians of the Galaxy, the Groot Build-A-Figure. He uh, needed help getting the figure, so I got all of the Guardians of the Galaxy figures and built Groot for him and sold it to him, and I had all these leftover Guardian of the Galaxy figures, and I ended up selling them too. But uh, anyways, yeah, that was the last time I had a Marvel Legends figure in my hand. So these are pretty cool. So all we're going to do is there's a piece of tape here, as you can see, that holds that together. And I'm just going to take my knife and slit it. And then pull the tab out. And then pull the figure out. So we can get a full look at Tony here. And... <clears throat> really cool detail. And this is a little bit small compared to like my Nika Predator figures. Actually, let me grab one of them to put over here next to <clears throat> Tony Stark. I'll get one of the smaller ones. This is one from the Blister Pack from back in 2010. I think this is when McFar McFarlane was collaborating with Nika still. Um, 
something like that because the way the legs are more like statue than uh, articulated. This is all part of his torso. This part here and the upper part of the legs. There's actually a joint here where they swivel like spin around in a circle. Kind of strange. But I just wanted to see. I guess Tony isn't that much smaller than the Predator and the Predator even the jungle predator was supposedly like seven foot tall or something like that. I know the actor that played him was really tall. He's like seven foot or something. They wanted to give them this mammoth look compared to like humans. And I know in the last predator movie, there's this like super predator that is like 10 feet tall. He's huge. Um, he even like uh, beheads a regular predator and pulls his spine out and such in the movie if you haven't seen it yet so that tells you how big he is but yeah i just wanted to do a comparison so i guess the tony stark guy here would probably be considered like a six inch figure because if you put the feet even yeah i would say it's probably an inch taller um so anyways let's set this predator off to the side here and then take this back out. There's a little pamphlet slid in the top. Not sure what this has in store. It's a little bit full up here. And I think it's just warning choking hazard up here. It's just a little insert that says that. And this is kind of cool because it reminds me of the Nika figures with the interchangeable heads and so forth and I'm trying to get him out of this maybe a chore at least they're not held in with rubber bands like the Nika those are kind of a pain in the ass sometimes but I just wanted to check this out and see how it looks when it comes to like the joints and things of that nature. So you have your arm, it swivels, and then kind of goes up and down there. Your jointed elbow, I keep going a little too low. Let me put that there. So you have your elbow and then the hand. And it also has interchangeable hands. And it doesn't have the... Uh, Acrylic or laser. I figured there would have been like blue, blue acrylic there. I guess that's what these are <clears throat> supposed to be. Uh, these blue things here. I guess maybe they are supposed to go inside the hand. Like so. To make it look like he's shooting something. That's kind of cool. And then you have your jointed torso, just like a newer style Nika. This old style doesn't have the jointed torso. The newer ones are jointed right there. And then the hip swivels in and out and around, kind of pretty articulated. Knee is jointed. And the ankle is jointed a little bit, but it's still not as mobile as the um, Nika stuff. The Nika feet on the Predator, at least the new ones, swivel all the way around. Yeah, this one does too. As you can see, it swivels a full 360 and also goes up and down. It's like a ball joint in here. So... Uh, the reason I'm comparing it to the Nika is because these are 25 bucks at Walmart. So that's why I'm kind of like doing the comparison of like how well made this thing is. And I figured maybe this may light up to the center of his chest, but it doesn't. But I don't know if that changed throughout the series of the movies. It's been a while since I watched them. If that was still a thing or that was a blue light, I would say that it was. And then the heads, I guess, just pop off like that. 
Now the head on this thing is very like lightweight and hollow compared to the Predators. And it's got a huge ball here like uh, the Predators have but not that big. And as you can see Tony's head is kind of hollowed out <laughs> too. Um, but yeah it just pops on like so. And, yeah, it looks just like the movie. And then they did pretty good with capturing the Robert Downey Jr. facial expression uh, and all the characteristics of his face. Very nicely done, in my opinion. Uh, it looks just like him. That's what I think. But, uh, anyways, it's a pretty cool figure. And such i think it's better than some of the older ones like when i got the baf uh groot figure back in 2013 or whatever i think this is a little bit nicer because i forget the regular human guy that's on the oops on the galaxy guardians of the galaxy i forget his name but anyways i don't think the face was as well done as what this one is. But I could be wrong. I, as I said, I don't really remember it so well. So, anyways, this is a great figure. If you're an Avengers fan or Tony Stark fan, I would definitely buy it. Uh, but, yeah, as I said, I'm not sure about myself if I'm going to keep it or not. I like the Avengers. I like Iron Man. He's probably my favorite of the group, as I mentioned. But not sure if it's is going to be a keeper or not. But anyways, just for thought, I would give you guys an up-close look at this guy. And as you can see, even all the suit is pretty nicely done. So, anyways, guys, I'll be back again on Friday with our free Friday with some die casts. So be sure to tune back in for that. And enjoy the rest of your week. Thanks for watching.